Hi everyone, today we are going to see RTM that is Requirement Traceability Matrix. This is very important document wherein the test cases um, will be mapped to the requirements, requirements such as business requirement, technical requirement, use cases. So whatever relationship you want to map with, you are going to map with the test cases. This helps you to check if the most important business needs that have been met or not. So supposedly if the end user founds a bug, the customer will first ask you to go back to the RTM and check why that particular requirement that is corresponding to that test cases has been failed. He wants to make sure that the test case is written for that particular requirement and if it has been written, he will question you why that particular test case has not been tested. That's why I told this is very important document to ensure that 100% testing coverage is done. I can say this is a kind of checklist. So we will see in detail what are the parameters, what are the things which are involved in RTM. Once the project is initiated, the first document that is framed is business requirement. This is the high level document wherein the requirements based on the business is structured. So there are n number of requirements, business requirements, which will be split again into functional requirements, it is technical in requirements and stockholder requirements. So these again will be uh, transformed to the test cases. So that's why it is very important to map the requirements with the test cases. This you can manually do it in Excel sheet or you have tools currently like uh, JAMA, Gather Space, Blueprint. These are some of the tools uh, available in the market for the requirement management. So now is the traceability matrix. It is nothing but a table which consists of lot of uh, um, kind of matrix kind of structure wherein you are mapping one relation to the other relationship in sense requirements to the test cases. Usually traceability matrix will be written in the excel sheet but currently as I say before there are a lot of management tools available now for requirement traceability matrix. So once the relationship and the comparison is made in the document it is very easy to track the requirements and to check the current project requirements are met. So now you have the control of and the ability to prioritize your team's time towards the most important task at any given point of time. So when you look at the RTM, it is nothing but a document wherein you are mapping the user requirements with the test cases. Uh, we want to make sure that all test cases are covered so that no functionality should be missing while doing software testing. This, makes, this uh, ensures the quality of the product. Now let us see how to create the RTM. So let us suppose we are going to test the web page wherein uh, the user can log in using username and password. So the requirement will be the user login. The test case we have number of test cases like test case number one will be username and password are given correctly. Test case two will be username and password are incorrect and test case three will be if the username and password is forgotten. So this one particular requirement has this number of test cases that are mapped. So in the project we have n number of requirements and n number of test cases. So this particular requirement we are make sure that we are mapping the correct uh, test cases for that particular requirement. So in the RTM we make sure that all the requirements will be mapped to the test cases so that we won't miss the functionalities. So now let us see one to one mapping of requirement ID with the test case ID in the user login example itself which we have seen before. As we have seen requirement 1 is mapped to test case 1, 2, 3. Requirement 2 will be mapped to test case 1 and 5. So this is just an example wherein n number of requirements are mapped to the corresponding test cases. This is just an one to one mapping but in the real time scenario what happens is we have many to many relationships that will be mapped. That is the real RTM matrix. So now let us see RTM in the real time scenario for online flight booking application. Here the business requirements for example two requirements are taken reservation module and payment module. This again they have split it into technical requirements 3-3 three, three technical requirements uh, for reservation modules like one-way ticket two-way ticket and multi-city booking and for payment module also by credit by debit by reward points all these three 
classifications comes under the technical requirement so these requirements is mapped to the test cases for example in reservation module like 1 2 3 4 5 six test cases have been mapped in payment module 7 8 9 10 11 that is five require five test cases have been mapped to that particular requirement and then it is categorized in the priority so if you look at the rtm we can make sure that um, what are the priority test cases that has been executed and which requirement has the high priority so in real time the uh, resources can be utilized for the high priority requirement and it can be executed at a short time so now we will look into types of traceability test matrix as in the diagram we have three matrix like forward traceability backward traceability and bi-directional traceability as in the figure below see here in forward traceability test case um, sorry requirement ids or map to the test case ids but in backward traceability we are mapping the test case with the requirement ids in bidirectional both forward and backward procedure is followed so what happens in forward traceability is that it is used to check whether the project progresses in the desired direction and for the right product it makes sure that each requirement is applied to the product and that each requirement is tested thoroughly in backward it is used to ensure whether the current product remains on the right track the purpose behind this type of traceability is to verify that we are not expanding the project by adding code design elements test or other work that is not specified in the requirements so backward traceability is to make sure that all requirements are covered by test cases it analyzes the impact of a change in requirements affected by the defect in a work product and vice versa there are a lot of advantages of rtm the first one is 100 percent test coverage yeah sure because we are mapping the requirements with the test cases in order to make sure that all the requirements has the test cases and also it highlights any requirements missing or document inconsistency so once the rtm is uh, done it shows the overall execution status or the defects uh, with the focus on business requirements and also it helps in analyzing or estimating the impact on the qa team's work with respect to revisiting or reworking on the test cases and also it simplified defects triage for large defect backlogs it also helps in reducing the leakages uh, the previous resources can put on high priority that is uh, high priority requirements uh, rather in wastage of previous resources or non priority or simply non requirements it helps to document adequately and work effectively in a world of integration supposedly it gives you the ability to seamlessly trace the progress from requirements to, to the defects yielded from the test cases written using any pro project management tool for example you are mapping the requirements with the test cases and in turn and in turn the defects are uh, mapped to the test cases so what have it helps you to look at the defects of the high priority test cases and see whether we have to fix this issue and release the product or um, we can hold on or you can uh, um, go for the you can fix it for the later releases that's why rtm helps you to finalize the scope of the release whether um, you have to pick up both high priority requirements as well as the defects that needs to be fixed but how do you surf through the hundreds of defects and select the most relevant alongside many criteria priorities where that comes built in with the defect you also need to consider which requirement each defect maps to this is where the traceability matrix can help Thank you so much for listening this video. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to our channel V People and like and share with your friends. If you have any query or clarification, please provide that in the comment section. Thank you.